Hello everyone, hope you all are doing excellent. Today I will talk about the RIP routing information protocol. So we will see how we can configure um, routing information protocol or RIP in a router and then we will see how the different uh, end devices can communicate each other and we will test some something like the routing table before the routing table of a router before configuring the RIP on a router and again we will see a routing table of a router after configuring the RIP so that we can understand what happened actually the when we configure a RIP or routing RIP routing protocol. So uh, this is a topology we are considering today so to discuss the RIP and if you want to in this video so we will start configuring the ip address first and then we'll see the what is going on based on the rip routing protocol so if you look at in this topology you can see we have the networks one so 192 10.0 which is a, a slash 24 so the prefix length is 24 we have another networks 192 is 20 so 30 40 50 60 and 100 so we have all together one two three four five six seven networks and if you look in the topology you can see the network 10 that means 192 10.0 slash 24 is not uh, uh, is connected to the router one but not connected directly connected to router 4 or router 5 or router 3 or router 2 and in the same way the network 192 dot 0 24 network is directly connected to router 4 but not connected to the other routers so if one device want to communicate to another device and they are not in the same networks so they are not the connected to the directly to the same router so in that case we might need to configure a static route or default route or dynamic routing protocol so the rip is one of the dynamic routing protocol so the today uh, in this video we will see how we can configure the rip in the routers so that the laptop one and the laptop two can communicate each other even though they are in the two different networks so let's first configure the router one so in the router one connected to three different networks 10 networks 20 networks and 30 networks so let's open the router one cli mode so make so enable config terminal so to configure the router one so let's first configure the IP address to the gigabit Ethernet zero two so to configure the IP address to the gigabit Ethernet zero two we need to go to the interface mode so we can go to the interface mode interface gigabit ethernet 0 oblique 2 so now we are configuring ip address 192.168.10.1 as i showed here so we are configuring dot 1 so the first ip address to the gigabit ethernet 0 2 of router 1 then subnet mask 255.255.255.0 then no shutdown so i have done configuring the ip address of the gigabit ethernet 02 now we need to also configure the ip address to gigabit ethernet 01 and 00 let's do that so again interface gigabit ethernet 01 
and IP address 192.168.20 because this network is 20 network right 192.168.20 and IP address is dot one so 20 dot one and subnet mask is same again because 24 slash 24 is the prefix length and then no shutdown and then the next interface we need to configure IP address is interface gigabit Ethernet 0 0 and IP address 192.168.30 30 networks 30 network you can see here so 192.168.30 30 networks and the IP address is dot one so dot one and again the subnet mask is same so no shutdown so I have configured IP address of the all three port so let's see what we configured show IP so the configuration is so gigabit Ethernet 0 0 we configure 192 30.1 30.1 then the gigabit Ethernet 0 1 0 1 so 192 1 says 20 192 1 says 20 networks and dot 1 so first IP address and then uh, 0 2 so gigabit Ethernet 0 2 so IP address is network 192 10.1 so now let's go to the router 2 so router 2 we need to configure the two IP address one is gigabit Ethernet 0 0 and another one is gigabit Ethernet 0 1 so let's configure that So now again we need to go to the interface mode. So first it an interface mode is zero one interface gigabit Ethernet zero slash one and IP address. So IP address should be thirty networks and dot two. So 30 network that means 192.168.30.2 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 then no shutdown and second uh, interface we need to configure is gigabit ethernet 00 and network is 40 192 160 40 and IP address 40.1 and gigabit 00, zero. so interface gigabit 00, zero. then IP address 40 40 then 40.1 then again no shutdown show IP brief so now you can see the interface gigabit Ethernet Ethernet 00 00, 00 is 00, 00 so 192.40.1 and 01 is 30.2 now configure the router 3 router 3 router 3 so 
terminal then in router 3 we need to again configure 0 01 and 00, 0 and 0 01 is 40.2 and 00, 00 is 50.1 so configure interface gigabit ethernet so first configure this one 0 01 0 slash 1 then IP address 192.168 dot so the network is network is 40 and then 2 dot 2 so 40 dot 2 subnet mask 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 0 then no shutdown and next second uh, interface we need to configure is gigabit ethernet 00, zero. so gigabit ethernet 00, zero. Right. then the network address is 192.50 and IP is 50.1 so IP address 150.1 right so 50.1 50 50.1 50 enter then no shut down then IP show IP so you can see the two interface one is 00, zero gigabit ethernet 00, zero 50.1 and another one is gigabit ethernet 0, 01 which is 40.2 so IP configuration of router 3 is done let's do it on the 5 again config terminal then we need to look at the interfaces so one interface is gigabit 0 01 and 0 0 so 0 01 so let's go to the interface mode gigabit 0 slash 1 slash 1 then we need to configure the IP address so IP address 192.168 dot so network is 20 networks so the 20 and IP address is 2 so 2 and subnet mask again same so the next interface is interface 00, zero and IP address is 60 is the network address and 0, 01 so 60 and 1 and no shutdown now let's see what we configured show IP so we configured gigabit Ethernet 0 0 gigabit Ethernet 0 0 is 192 168 60.1 and uh, 0 1 is 20.2 so the last one is router 4 CLI enable config terminal so now we need to know which so we have to configure the three port gigabit ethernet 00 01 and 02 
so let's go to the interface mode interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 then IP IP address and 0 slash 0 is 60 network and IP is dot 2 okay so 192.168.60.2 dot dot then 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
will know 192.168.10 network and 120 networks and the 30 networks right so so this router now know only the 10 networks 20 networks and 30 networks so that means this router know only the connected network so the by default the router learn or know the routes of the connected networks so this router have no information about other networks 100 networks 60 networks 50 networks this router has no information so this router doesn't know how to forward the packet from laptop 1 to laptop 2 so if you look at the router 5 you can see the what are the networks connected to this router show IP route so you can see here network 20 network 20 and network 60 network 20 and network 60 so again these two are the networks connected to router 5 so it only know the connected networks so this is why we need to because we the router one need to know about the other networks that are not connected to forward the packet from one network to another networks so to inform the router one or to learn the other networks the router one we need to configure some routing protocol dynamic routing protocol or static route so in this video we are talking about the RIP routing information protocol so there are some other routing protocol like OSPF right EIGRP then the BGP so we'll see them later but today our discussion is on RIP so now let's see we how can we configure the RIP on router 1 and then we'll see what changes happen in the routing table or what extra thing the router one learn okay so so router then we need to go to the config mode so the configuration is uh, rip configuration is pretty straightforward so you just need to write router rip right? so then you just need to write the, the version number version 2 then no auto summary no auto summary now we need to talk about or we need to mention about the networks so what are the networks we need to configure here the networks that are connected to the router one so that router one can advertise these three networks to it neighbor routers so what are the three networks and how we can configure them configuration is very simple so just write the network command then your network 192.168.10 dot we have one which is 10 network so dot 10 then dot 0 so this is the first network and then second network one is 20 another one is 30 so one is 20 20 dot 0 and then the next one is 30 dot 0 so these are the three networks now we configured so if you go exit let's see now what we have in the configuration show running configuration so you can see here we configure rip router rip version 2 no auto summary and these are the three networks right so now the same thing we need to configure other routers so let's do it on router 2 config terminal then what we need to configure rip so to configure the rip router rip 
then version number two, then no auto summary, then we have to configure the network. So what are the networks connected to this router? We are configuring router two. Router two is this one. So one is the 30, one is the 30, another one is the 40. So let's configure the network 30, 192. So let's configure network 192 two then one sixty eight dot thirty dot zero so this is one networks and second network is is this one forty right so now forty so these are the two networks. So we configure the REAP on router 2. Let's see what we configured. Show run, uh, show running config. So we configure here router REAP and then these are the two networks. Now configure the router 3, REAP configuration router 3. config terminal then router rip then version number 2 then no auto summary then we have to mention about the networks connected to the router 3 so the two networks connected to the router 3 one is 40 another one is 50 so now let's configure 40 and 50 network network 192.168.40.0 and then network 50 exit so Let's see again, show running config. So this router, we configure the two networks with router RIP, okay? So router three configuration is done. Let's see what uh, router one have now in its routing table or is there any changes in the routing table of router one. So the show IP route. So now you can see here. So this router now know the router one we saw previously there was only three network was connected right. So now you can see the 10 networks, which is a connected networks, 20 networks, which is also connected network. You can see here directly connected and the 30 networks and the 40 networks and the 50 networks. So you can see the 40 and 50 it received via the 30.2, 30.2 and they are coming from RIP. So now this 40 and 50 is not directly connected. You can see the 40 and 50 these two networks is not directly connected to the router one but router one now know these two route route also these two network as well but previously when before configuring the rip this router only know the three networks that are connected to itself 
So now let's configure finish configuration the RIP to all of the routers. So configure the router 5. Config terminal. So router RIP version number 2 then no no auto summary okay then what we need to configure we need to configure the networks so the two networks connected to the router 5 are one is 20 networks another one is 60 network so the command for configuration configuring the network in the RIP is network then network address 192 dot 168 dot 20 dot 0 this is the first network connected to this router 5 and the second network connected to this router 5 is 60 60 so we are done configuring the RIP on router 5 is it so if you want we can see again the show run So run, you can see the configuration of the RIP is here, right? So now, so the last router, which is router four, we need to configure, and the, this router is connected three networks, right? So we have to configure three networks in this router. So config terminal right then we have to say router rip router rip then version 2 then no auto summary then now just configure the network addresses so the network 192.168 so one network connected with this router 4 is 50 network right 50 networks so 168.50.0 dot dot then another network connected to this is the 60 network so that 60 and the third network connected to this router is 100 network 100 network so we are done configuring the RIP on this router as well so now you can see here the three networks are connected to this router now if you look again go back to the router 1 and see the routing table so you might see more networks populated into the routing table of router 1 so let's see what we can see now in the routing table of router 1 show IP route so let's see we can see more networks here now you can see all the networks network 10 network 20 network 30 network 40 network 50 network 60 and network 100 so all the networks is populated in the routing table of router that means router 1 now know all the routes all the network in this topology and these four it learned through the route uh, routing protocol rip so r which is means the rip so r is here you can see here route r means rip so by using the routing protocol so when we configure the rip in routing routers so these routers automatically advertise the route it know to it neighbors so like router 4 advertise these three networks to it neighbors then router 3 advertise to router 2 router 2 advertise to the router 1 in this is how all the routers now know 
all the networks so if you look at router 5 let's see what have in the router 5 routing table so the show IP route so now you can see you can see here so 100 networks 60 networks 50 network 40 network 30 network right so the 20 network and 10 network so all the networks so all the router now in its routing table has all the network now let's see the laptop one now can communicate to router uh, laptop 2 before configuring the rib route we, we we try to ping from laptop 1 to laptop 2 but it was failed right it cannot reach now let's see they can reach to each other see now they can communicate so in the previous if you look at here in the previous ping command it was destination host unreachable because the router or its default gateway have no information about the destination network now when we configure the rip on all the routers they the routers share each other the routes or the networks they know and then everyone every routers now know every network and so the laptop or the end devices can communicate to each other so if laptop if you had more end devices in these networks so one laptop in one network can communicate to another network so i hope uh, this video will help you to configure the rip and give you an understanding how actually dynamic routing protocol for example the rip actually help to the network devices to learn the network thank you very much to all of you